You've been doing this all day, all night, and you grabbed the wrong two and tied them together. Where I'm expecting this lead hook to take off, instead, where my hands are, the tub just explodes. Quite often the tub goes with it. Now these little hooks, these black cut hooks we use, probably just take a little piece of you with it. You're gonna stay on the boat. But this guy right here, that's designed to pick a 400 pound halibut up off the bottom of the ocean. You get that wedged in there, you're gonna hope that those guys pin you against the rail. That tough skin is strong enough to take you over. That area back there where we're setting gear, saturated with knives. There's knives everywhere. Guys are wearing knives. They pin you to the rail, cut you free. Now the fun part. <laughs> they gotta get that hook out of you. Yeah, you know how they're gonna do that? Four inch grinder. Cut it in half, bring it on through. You're gonna put a little peroxide on it and you're gonna get back to work. Now, we don't want that to happen, but if it does, it'll be right here, right now. And I'd be happy to go get that grinder if he can show us that. <laughs> There's no need, Dylan's already got the video going. Just cry down loud, Dylan. I think we'd all love to see yeah. that. When you're ready, go on over. All right, watch these hooks. That's just the weight of that anchor. Boom, boom, boom. We were commercial fishing. Boat would be going wide open. They'd be flying out of there. I get to the end of that tub. I slide the next one over. We're going to do one, two, maybe three mile long streets. Bump over, do it all again. We're going to pull 15,000 hooks in a 24 hour period. All right. Look at that. Nobody got hooked. Oh. <laughs> Captain's always disappointed. <laughs>